So we are reading this Virapak Samanjari. This is in our, in our, what is it? In our Bhakti Yoga. This is the highest book which mentioned here in this material world and spiritual world. And spiritual world also different place. In spiritual world, in top place is called, say, Goroka Vrindavan. So in this spiritual world means the, the kingdom, kingdom of God. But highest place, God does not behave like God. God behave like person. Very lovely, very funny, very, what is it, very attractive person. So, and then, <clears throat> in this highest place, its main concern is love. How to love each other, how to help each other, how to serve each other. <clears throat> and <clears throat> this is Radha and Krishna. We say Radha Mohan. Radha Mohan is separated. So, then some, some maid servant, some help is there to try to, to try to arrange to meet each other. And this maid servant is Radharani's maid servant. Radharani is like a goddess of love. Goddess of highest love, say. And then that uh, many leader. This author, <coughs> author was self, self realized person. It, sometimes meditation, he's watching in spiritual realm, the part we say, like a leader. And then he debuted us the secret. Mm. <laughs> this is kind of top secret. Mm. Mm -hmm. Say, so for example, like a lover meet very secretly, mm. right? Mm. Sometimes go some secret <laughs> hotel, some secret cottage, mm. and then they do some, you know, love play. So, and this is kind of a, a spiritual realm, also spiritual, very secret place. This, this is debuted very, very secret. Mm. Secret thing. Mm. Also very divine, also very pleasing also. Mm. Pleasing to hear. Mm. Because we are accustomed to hear all material things, you know, like business, about money, about politics, about each country's relationship, sometimes war, like, uh, you know, like a disaster, someone killed, someone, you know, born like this. But the real, real listening, real pleasing to I is this pastime of Supreme Lord and Supreme Goddess. And we, if we hear all heart problem will disappear. Interesting. If we hear nice things, we feel very happy. If we hear very bad news, then we become very unhappy, very sad. So if we hear this past time, then our soul is become enlightened. Mm -hmm. So, so maybe you know, maybe some sometimes different words or different you know kind of feeling. But uh, so we try to explain and uh, just to reading. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so I repeat the verse. <coughs> My dear friend, Rupa Manjari, in the township of Raja, you are well known for your chastity. You don't even look at the faces of other men. It is therefore surprising that your lips that are as beautiful as red bimba fruits have been bitten although your husband is not at home 
Has this maybe been done by the best of parrots? But I don't know. This is okay. This this book is okay. I just now. I just also feel it's. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I also feel. So, what to do? What? Huh? I'm, I'm a little wondering because, you know, this today's member. So, in this, we are reading this book is okay, or I, you want to some here another item? This is okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Because it's just um, that we don't compare this with our material world. It's yeah. really uh, divine. Uh, oh, you love. can explain what's the difference between. between um, love, highest love, divine love, human love, yeah. and karma. Uh, last, last. You can just explain the difference. Like an introduction. Because outside it looks same, yeah. but nature of the human is not same. You want to explain? No, no. I'm just suggesting you ask. Okay. Uh, like uh, so, I just try to explain. In this material world, in this world's love, like say United States love. Or Japan, or you know, Europe, or <laughs> so, huh? Italy, 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 <laughs> Italy, Italy. <laughs> you are from, you are now living in the Norway, Norway, no. Norway. Yeah. Anyway, so Europe, you know, so love means we thinking bodily, bodily relationship. I like this man, I like this lady. Okay, let me engage, you know. And uh, this world is uh, problem is we have ego. We desire my, you know, say, if I have say wife, you should please me. Means uh, self interest. If you don't please me, okay, I don't like it. I don't like you. Okay, I, I will divorce. I'll separate. So this world's love is self-centered, self-interest. Everybody like this. So therefore, this world is easy to get married, but easy to separate. This is the reality. <clears throat> but in the spiritual world, love centers others. Love centers God. This is amazing, actually. If you want to, you know, I want to please you, if you, you know, I want to please you, but uh, that service makes me unhappy, still okay, if you please. Mm. This kind of mentality. Mm. Not self-centered or kind of, what do you say, loving object centers. Mm. This is completely different. Mm. No selfness, no selfless. Mm. So this is uh, this one theme. And in this world, Many people want to exploit others. Mm. Company wa want to exploit worker. Well, sometimes like uh, some, what say, some top person exploit student or, you know, anything. This kind of exploitation is there. Mm. But in spiritual world, it's not exploitation. Mm. Only service, mm. seva, mm. we say seva. Mm. This is difference. Mm. <laughs> So, material love is, we say, self-centered. Please satisfy my senses. But spiritual world is, I want to satisfy your senses. Mm. This is interesting. Mm. And also the important thing is the relationship. Love means we know both, we, we, in both in two persons we need at least. Some persons, I like myself, it's okay. But generally speaking, love means lover and beloved. Mm -hmm. Both we need. Mm -hmm. And this love means we need a relationship. Mm -hmm. Because some, you know, like a wife-husband relationship, lover relationship, parents-children relationship, or even friendly relationship also, it, we may call love also. Mm -hmm. So, different kind of relationship, or maybe servant and master relationship. 
So very different relationship. And especially this relations in this book relationship is, <coughs>、uh, we say conjugal, lover's relationship. Also same time describes servant and mistress relationship. So this is very、uh, interesting thing.、Mm-hmm. And this mentioned, <coughs> this say Rada Kunda. It is、uh, according to sc- scripture. Scriptures is word of Supreme Lord or Great Saint. So here in Brindaba, it is called topmost, topmost holy dam, topmost、uh, holy place. And it is said、uh, in this holy dam, all universe hold place, including in this place. So among the, this Braja Dharma, Brindavan Dharma, is say most sacred place is Radha Kunda. So Radha's name is God, say, Supreme Goddess of Love. So that, that person's bathing place is Radha Kunda. So this author is living in Radha Kunda. And doing some bhajan. Bhajan means chanting mantra, chant, you know, meditation to the Supreme Lord or Supreme Goddess.、Mm-hmm. So every day he's crying, crying, crying and doing meditation. But still sometimes they, they, their lordship does not appear in front of him. So this kind of, this is that kind of lamentation, this book. Love, love lamentation. Love in separation. Love in、uh, say, lamentation. So. But not lamenting for, like when we lament for, oh, for me, for me. Yeah, it's、mm. a divine lament. Yeah, divine lamentation. We lament, you know, oh, I lost money, I lost my wife, I lost house, you know, kind of lamentation.、Mm. This is no. Where I can get my Worshipability, my Ishta Deva. So, I'm so unfortunate. I, my lover, who is my Ishta Deva, my Supreme Goddess, does not appear in front of me because my impurity, my desire is not enough strong. Like this kind of feeling. <clears throat> because why feeling is important? Because in this material world, Whatever we want to get something, we need desire. If we desire material thing, if, if we desire spiritual thing, before we get it, anything, we need some think, thinking and meditation. For example, so, okay, I want to become c h i r o p r a c t i t i o n e r Then we have to think, okay, I want to become c h i r o p r a c t i t i o n e r c h i r o p r a c t i c Then, okay, okay, maybe let me go to school or let me learn from, you know, professional. Then, do. At first, you know, thinking start. Meditation start. Then we'll get it. So, like, you know, say, okay, now I'm staying in the United States. Okay, let me go to India. Kind of meditation, thinking start. Right? So, how we think How we can get. This is a secret of yoga. So then, if we want to get the highest thing, then should be our thinking, our meditation should be changed. If we get, okay, I want to be millionaire, then we have to think how to get money. Okay, maybe this man knows how to get money. Or、oh, he's success, you know, he's, he's very successful material speaking. Okay, I want to. See him, see her, and let me a kind of student of him or her, like this. So, this yoga important is meditation. And then, question is what, what kind of object we should be、uh, meditate? Means, what is our goal of life? Goal of life, goal of life is different thing. Generally speaking, four is goal. Work, business. 
work, and then money. Second one is money. And then some things, so fulfill our desire. We say sense gratification. And fourth thing is liberation. You know? And then fifth thing is love of Godhead. Another one. Sorry to distribute. Uh, two things. So, mm-hmm. from Guru Dev, Chai came now. Thank, Thank you. you. And with Chai, we can enjoy. And second, Guru Dev asked Madurella Sadidi, please translate for Italians. That's why she came here. Ah, yeah. okay, okay, okay. That's why a little bit to make uh, arrange a place. Uh, more Italian. Italian people, can you understand yeah, English? I understand. I understand. Uh, okay, then no problem. But Guru Dev said maybe. No, no, no. But he yeah. understands. So, yeah, okay. other devotees okay. come, we, they can uh, yeah. go okay. perhaps okay. down on the on the cushion. Yes. Mm-hmm. We'll, okay. we'll arrange. You will arrange. Yes, okay. okay. Thank okay. Who wants chai? Just that Kishori knows who wants. Yeah, right. Okay, okay, chai. <laughs> okay. Almost all. Almost all. Easy. Sorry to disturb. <laughs> so, we are practicing yoga. It's called bhakti yoga. Bhakti yoga means love in action. So, how to behave daily life? Also in meditation, loving meditation. So why we meditate? Because we want to get something. We want to get the real aim of life. So I mentioned the real aim of life is five things. <clears throat> At first, work or some duty. Second thing is money. Third thing is fulfill our material desire. Since, you know, we say sense gratification. Fourth thing is liberation. Okay, you know, too much, I say, too much, you know, so many troubles there. I don't, I don't want to cut relationship, you know. I want to be alone. I want to liberate from any entanglement, this kind of liberation. But uh, living alone, cut relationship is, from beginnings, okay. Okay, I stay one room. Nobody you know, bother me, it's okay. But after some time, oh my God, I'm alone. I want to talk, I want to hug, I want to love. But nobody is there. So he want to have love. And love I mentioned, material love, which is self-centered. Another one is spiritual love, center for others means our worshipable object, we say Ishtazel. Means yoga means connection with Godhead. So how to connect to Godhead? There is a different yoga system. Like karma yoga means action. And jnana yoga is just knowledge, discrimination. And dhyana yoga is meditation. And bhakti yoga is loving action plus meditation, like this. So we are learning this bhakti yoga, and among the bhakti yoga, this book is is highest. Why highest? Then slowly, slowly, this describe. Sorry, I my you know I little introduce because uh, otherwise you know it's difficult to understand. So, then after the translation comes the explanation, and uh, we are in the middle of the explanation. Mm. And there is like, um, yeah, Jainanda Maharaj talked about the lamentation that he feels so sad separated um, and crying and lamenting and all, also stopped eating and drinking but yeah this is and we'll continue there okay so it's on page nine i continue on page nine in the middle page nine in the middle oh radha krishna
Oh, I found. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, Radha Krishna. Where are you? Where are you, Vishaka and Lalita? Please reveal yourself to me. Oh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Oh, my Lord, Svarupa Damodara. Oh, Lord, Rupa and Sanatana. Day and night, Srila Raghunatha Dasa Goswami was crying like this while his body and mind were burning and his limbs were great by dust as he rolled around on the ground. He had become blind from fasting and he considered his old and worn out body to be a great burden out of these feelings of separation. <coughs> Falling on the bank of Radakunda, he breathed out deeply, unable to say a word. His tongue moved slowly as tears of love fell from his eyes and he remembered Krishna. In such an anxious, pitiful mood of separation, Sri Raghunatha Dasa was crying Vilapa Kusumanjali. This word, Vilapa means what is this book? crying. Hmm? I'm this word, Vilapa means crying. Kusuma means flowers. He's ah. Anjali means Anjali. He's offered the flower of his crying. And he's crying not for himself, for his happiness. He's telling, I know you need me. I know, I feel how you need me. And I could not tell what you need me, I, but I, I'm still not with you. This is his cry. But just, oh, Jananda Maharaj explained. It's, this love is different. The same, uh, this is not self-interest love. This is love for the, uh, for the happiness of other person. Like uh, say, <coughs> Every, everybody has a native place. So in a native place, there is king and queen. But there's king and queen, but they are very friendly. Very lovely. We can talk. We can sub. We can laugh, make a joke. <coughs> So very dear person. This also is very intimate relations with Queen. <coughs> Queen's maid servant. So he want to Queen to meet King. Or maybe Prince, maybe say, maybe princess. So he, you know, he's serving princess or maybe queen, and also prince also there. So, and the princess and prince, he want to try to meet together. But someone other, he lived very far away, far, very far away from the native place. Then suffering because of separation. So when can I meet my princess or my queen? How can I serve? Because you are so kind, you are so elegant, 
So beautiful. My desire is just to please you. So this I explained, this native place is God Kingdom. <coughs> it's called Goroka Brinda. We very far away means this material world. Here material world, we are suffering. You say, no, I'm not suffering. I'm rich. I'm very happy. Maybe true. But problem is there. We are getting old. You know, my hair also become white. My skin become, what is it? Winkle, winkle. You know, my eyesight was before was very nice, but I have to take glass. <coughs> and also, you know, I don't want to become sick, but, uh, you know, sometimes I become sick. <coughs> so finally, I have to die. This is problem. Also, sometimes our mind problem, body problem. Sometimes other people criticize me, hurt me, violent me, or some animal cut me, attack me. Here, monkey may steal my grass, monkey steal my shoes, my food, etc. And also sometimes too cold, too rainy, too warm. In India, you know, in summertime, 45 degrees, 50, oh my God, I cannot survive. Mosquito. Mosquito. This is, this is also suffering. So how to get, you know, how to get out of this suffering? Then we have to go back to native place. This native place, eternal, very conscious and blissful place. So we can go any place by meditation. Why we are born in this world? You are born Italy, United States, you know, many places. Because of our meditation, also we say karma, previous activity. So that means in this lifetime we meditate something, then we can, next time we can attain. Then my, no, our, our, Suggestion is why don't why don't you why do, why don't we meditate supreme things then we can attain supreme destination okay our life depends on our consciousness it depends what we have is completely uh, what's the reflection of what's inside of us. And what does it mean consciousness? First of all, it means feelings. When we are read these feelings, is uh, is desire, what just uh, General Maharaj explained, desire to get this native place to which I am belong by my nature. I belong to this place by my nature. Uh, my heart is telling, yes, it's my place, it's my own, my own experience. When I first time came to here in 98, my first uh, impression was, oh, I'm at home. It was my experience. <laughs> and then I'm reading this, all, all these feelings, 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 it's filled my consciousness with feelings. In this way, I couldn't, it's, it's so natural. It's not like I'm sitting in cave and trying to meditate on something. Light. No, it's so much forms. It's so attractive. It's so natural to meditate on something which have form. Very difficult to meditate some on something which is no form. 
I, hope, I don't know English enough. You cannot relate. My, my eyes couldn't, how yeah. to say, focus. There's no focus, relation. Yeah, focus. <coughs> but here, so much forms and feelings. It's so easy, so attractive. Meditation not just mean I'm by will doing this. No, it's natural meditation. It means heart attraction to this. It's, it's native for my heart. It's attracted. Natural way. Some people meditate light. That's all light. But we cannot talk light. Hey, light, good morning. How are you? But nothing coming, you know? So means, you know, just one way. So we cannot relate. We cannot have a relationship with light. We are person. So we want to have a person, personal relationship. This is God realization two kind. Impersonal feature of God, also personal feature of God. We like to associate with the personal feature of God. Among the personal feature of God, who is most attracted, who is lovely, who is, who is most funny, who is, who is most beautiful person? It is called Krishna. Moha. And who is the most beautiful lady? Who is most merciful, most kind, most elegant lady? This is Radha. So, then our meditation, okay. I want to meditate supreme, beautiful, elegant, kind, merciful, and pleasing person. This is, we say, Radha Moha. Radha Krishna. So this book center is Radha Krishna, Radha Mo. So how to meditate? Like a children with mother say, I am like a three, four years child. Always with mother. I experience mother Sometimes, you know, disappear. Then I was completely shocked. Why is my mother? And then crying. Then many people come. What are you doing, child? My mother. I go fine. Then, okay, okay. Who is your mother? What's your name? You know. Then some other people. Hey, some, you know, this baby's Child is, you know, crying, you know, this person, mother, you know, and then mother sometimes come, <laughs> running. Oh, sorry, sorry, you know. So, like, we also like this, this kind of crying. Then mother has to come. <clears throat> if we crying, divine mother, Shurimate Radana, then divine mother has to come. But he's lamenting. When he will come, when Divine Mother, Divine my Mistress, come, I am crying, crying, but he, she did not appear in front of me. I am so unfortunate. What to do? So he is lamenting. Maharaj, can you say maybe something about the difference from the lamenta this kind of lamentation and material lamentation? So we beginning we talked. Ah, you already said. Okay. Yeah, but uh, I, in, in short, if we lament material thing, like this body, my children, my wife, husband, my money, my house. Oh, I lost my money. One million dollars. Oh my God, what to do? I lost my wife, what to do? I lost my job. Now, lamenting. This is material lamenting. Material lamenting means we, 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 you know, if we material lament, then material things may come. <coughs> but if we lament spiritual things, <coughs> where I can meet 
with you. When you come, when can I serve you? How can I serve you? How can you meet you? This kind of hankering spiritual lamentation bring the spiritual object sooner or later. So this is this is the theme of this book. How should we meditate? How should we lament? Not material thing, but spiritual thing. <coughs> Because material lamentation brings us misery. But a spiritual lamentation brings us spiritual happiness. It seems suffering, but actually inside so much tasting blissfulness. Can I give example? Sure. Once uh, one Sadhu, uh, one holy person, asked his audience, many ask him, what the happiness in crying. For example, maybe you heard Ramayana, the story of great King Rama. In one point of his history, great demon Ravana kidnapped his wife, Sita. And he is going around the forest and crying, Sita, Sita, Sita. And then people hear this story, they cry and cry because this dramatic story. So much drama inside of this story. And who came later means at the back of our auditorium, of this assembly. Next morning they come in first and sitting just in front of who is narrating this story. Why? He wants to cry more. <laughs> it's because it's sweet. Yeah, and it's cleaning our hearts. So here, we, if we listen to this wonderful lilas or plays of God and Goddess, sometimes it happens that one of us starts crying, but this is another crying. And it's cleaning our heart from this, we say sometimes it's like a mirror who is dirty. And Gurudev helps us to clean our heart from this previous lives or in this life, what our bent comes. And when it's more and more clean, then the soul can shine true and come true. And so this is another... So sometimes you are like smiling and crying at the same time. And it's like really re releasing. And now you feel good afterwards. So, so clean, no? And not exhausted. Sometimes if we cry for hours, no? for ourselves, we are like totally exhausted. And it's like really yeah, opening more. <laughs> so, may I say one thing? What you said is completely right. Also, Jaina has said something very powerful. When we are the front, on front of our deity is our mirror. When we are going to meet them, we are ready to give to them all the beauty and the purity. And then they will appear in form, as Jayananda Maharaj said. How they can appear in form? You will see yourself in that mood. That's why we are here. And the meditation, Jayananda make a beautiful example. What are you meditating for? Why the yogi they can they meditate millions of years in the Satya Yuga? In other yuga also. Now many yuga always the same story. Now also they meditate, meditate in what? In your pleasure. Not in others. To serve others and become a servant of the servant of the servant. That's the beauty that he then he show us our divinity. Wow. Yes. In this world, everybody want to be master. Oh. Yeah. But in spiritual world, I want to be your servant. Beautiful. Or servant of servant of you. This is a beauty. Right? Yes, my dear. <laughs> Yes, in Buddhist sense. Even God wants to be the servant of no, no, no. Wow. you. Because it is something, it is something that comes from love. 
We, if a uh, devotee loves God, God loves him, there is an exchange. So it is not that only the devotee wants to please, but also God wants to please and serve. Yeah. And uh, it is the, the servant of the love also, that is uh, Rana, is the personification of love. And he wants to serve Rana, wants to please her. Wow. And uh, as, uh, as Uddhava Prabhu says that uh, in uh, some classes of Bhagavad Gita says that uh, to know actually means to love. You, you love, you know truly a person when you love. Mm. Why Krishna came into this world 5,000 years ago? For the loving for his devotees. He could stay beautiful in his abode, but he came because he was looking at how many injustice, how many kings that were corrupted. You ever never seen the movie or the story of the Mahabharat? Well, the Mahabharat is eternal. <laughs> Here we have the Mahabharata also. In our life, daily life, and there in the society is the Mahabharata. Mm-hmm. Guru Shet, Kishita Shet. Um, it's important to, just, to focus on this point. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to add um, Radharani is a personification of the pure divine and unconditional love. Yes. So, yeah. And if we see each other as little child, her children, we are all their children. And um, even if we are not qualified, I'm not qualified. I I started here on the path uh, two and a half years ago, just. Others are like 30 years, more than 30 years in Bhakti Yoga. But I came here with no knowledge, zero. And Guru Dev accepts us as we are. And also Radharani is like this. If we are unqualified or if we do mistake, like a baby, his babies or children are making mistakes, they have to learn. And they fall down, but then they get up again. And she will always love us. And, yeah. I make you an example. Yesterday I was very naughty. I did something that Guru Dev didn't like it. I had a greater lesson. And I give a greater lesson also. But I will always love him. But in the material consciousness, in that case what I did, he want to fight me, with me. Because to punish me. I punished me with his love. He was aggressive with me. He want to stick me. Smash your ego. <laughs> Not but I also can smash his ego. How? <laughs> That's the mysterious of the play with love. If you are here to hear, you hear. By hearing, is that is the meditation. By chanting, by association, by take a pure prashad. When prashad is contaminated, some poison to prashad, some poison is in your life. We have to offer to the God the purity of our self. Purity in all senses. Eating, working, loving, sex, everything we have to give to Him. Not for us. We have no power even in our body. Because everything is of Him. Thank you. Okay. You to say uh, yes, I want to add a little bit what just Madhuri Rasa told. She told God become a servant of love. Yeah. I remember how our Guruji told Krishna is create everything. Everything. But he could not create love. What is love? for him love is a uh, foreign land where he is new and he is <laughs> coming to her beloved and Asking, praying, please teach me the love. I want to understand what is it. I become now your, uh, how to say, student. Yeah. 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 I am your servant, please teach me, because I don't know what is it. And actually, he is a creator, he is omnipower, omniscient, and all pervading, only because of her. She makes him he, so much happy because of this, he is, can do everything. When the person acting in this world, when he is happy, 
Mm. The happiness here, he become creative. Mm. He become active. Mm. Then he is, how to say, uh, in, uh, in unhappiness, he is, does, does not want to do anything. No power. Yeah. Hands like this, yeah. hopeless. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Krishna is God only because of her. We say it's her, the inner pot, Radharani is the inner potency, loving potency of Krishna. Yeah. And, <coughs> and Shogun thought, all this world fighting, who is God, what his name, and how to, the best way to serve him, but nobody fighting about love. When love <laughs> yeah. coming, everyone becomes peaceful. Everybody wants to <coughs> The teachings, uh, what we are learning here is the love is the highest God and hi is the highest truth. Can I make you a, can I make it in the same line an example? When you go in the police, Japan, Italy, America, yeah, the old religion, philosophy, etc. What you do in this place? You try to understand the custom, the tradition of the place, right? You have to respect what they did all the religion. They conquest land and explode people. Meditate. Why Krishna at the end of say in the Gita, surrender to me, I will teach everything in the Veda. But he can teach love. He can teach love only with his example and the example of your devotee. Mm. Continue. Yeah, continue. So we continue um, in the verse. Therefore, this book is the incomparable relishable treasure of the practicing Raga Nuga devotees who are themselves also suffering separation from Sri Radha's lotus feet. Jalan uh, can you explain what does mean Raga Nuga? Yeah. Because we receive this term, but for them it's not common at all. It's actually, even uh, if we will find how it's so different, usually what we are doing in spiritual or religious way, in this world, completely different, what is written about, uh, what is written here, what does <coughs> Raga Nuga? <coughs> so, we explain, Bhakti means loving Bhakti in action. So, loving action is Bhakti two ways. One, it, one way is called Bhaiti Bhakti. Uh, like Bhaiti means, Bhiti means rule and regulation. So, from beginning of love, Maybe father, mother teaching child, don't do this, do this. <laughs> and then children could understand, okay, okay, I cannot touch fire. Okay, I cannot go to toilet in my house. Go to, go to toilet, you can. So like similar, you know, so from beginning of love, so we have some rule, don't do this, do this. But if we little advanced, a grown up, children want to serve naturally with love. This raga means love. Anuga means following. Spontaneous love, okay, I want to serve you. I want to serve my parents. I want to serve Radha and Krishna. So one way is do and regulation, one way is spontaneous love. And another thing is God has two features. I think most of country they worship God is supreme. God has everything, supreme power, <coughs> supreme opulence, almighty. So therefore I have to pay obeisance, I I pray, I I obey senses. 
God is okay. I owe and reverence. I, I worship God. That is one way. But in Brindava, God is not God. God is very friendly. God to become like friend. God to become like son. God to become our lovers. Why? Because if if someone who is very high, we cannot taste love. Love means it should be same position. Same position we can exchange love. But if someone feeling I'm very high, <coughs> then love is very weak. <coughs> so if we want to feel taste, love, fully, they should be same same position. Yes, that to die. Same position, even sometimes smaller. Because love comes through from high, you know, to small one. So this is in Brindavan. So therefore Brindavan is Krishna is not God. Krishna is my friend, my child, my lover, like kind of feeling. Because in that position Krishna feels more love. Krishna learns, tastes love. So this Raganuga practice in Brindavan. We follow Brindavan's residence. Like Brindavan's friend, Brindavan's father and mother, Brind- Brindavan's Raba, Gopi, Saki, Manjari. So we follow, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, can I add? Sure. Uh, we have two kinds of directions. Or li- li- living. Uh, some power which is leading us in our life. Out- from outside and from inside. Outside it's coming like rules and regulations. If someone blind, uh, he needs uh, living. Someone must take his hand and help him to the, come to the destination. Uh, this type of uh, living or directions is uh, not perfect. Because uh, we couldn't see by ourselves, we can do mistake. We couldn't, uh, sometimes we couldn't understand what does it mean do this or that. But then we receive uh, leading or direction from inside, it's perfect. Then in our life, I'm following the feelings of heart, it is perfect. If I'm just following external uh, uh, instructions, it's not perfect. Uh, because the consciousness changing in every moment. The situation is changed every moment, but external uh, instructions, they like stable, they like frozen. It's written in Shastra, which is written hundreds, thousands of years ago. But situations changing, changing, changing. But it's like we need actually much more direction from inside. Why? And this book is teaching for, about this, how to live by heart. And what you have inside? The consciousness. That's why you become disturbed. And that's why you have to have regulation. A child has regulation, as Jayananda Maharaj said, if you touch the fire, the father can say, don't touch because you burn. But the, fire, the, 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 the kid won't touch. So you touch and then you get the fire and realize that the fire is hot. You will never do it burn you. So we are, we are not... A, child means that we have to be educated to be beautiful, gentle. You can go in a house of a king or in a house in a personality that he has so much uh, if you are a, a, a sutra in the way that you have no gentleman, a lady. When you say, oh, good morning, how are you? May I offer you something? That's the way of Krishna wants things. And Radha is automatically, love is there because it's automatically if you are gentle, you have love. If you are rude, how can you have love? You have no love for yourself because you are rude. That is the what is regular regulation. Yes. But spontaneous what I is. I don't know you. It's first time. 
but I know your soul. And this morning, if I have this love for your soul, I say, would you like to have uh, some fruits? Or would you like to have some, some cereals, personal? I don't know you. I don't know. How can I know what is your best? <coughs> yes. So, Radha Charampa was saying, outside behavior, mm. Guru Dev said, religious. Many religions follow just outside this kind of like, you know, acting, only kind of bodily acting. But the Radha Charampa was saying, inside feeling, this is actually Raga Nuga Bhakti. So this is very good point. Super point. Okay. Hence, hence for the Sama Vasana Samajika. Oh, sorry. sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I heard this is my theory. Because uh, I would like, yeah, actually, I would like their feelings. So now, Jananda Maharaj and Radha Charanji, Radha Krishna, she also introduced this Vyapak Sumanjan. And uh, they tried to help us to understand these uh, important uh, books. That's why I would like to know how do you feel honestly in this Vrindava and uh, this, uh, this uh, instruction. Then we can go to live together. How do you feel, Jananda Maharaj? If possible, I would like to... Well, if you have questions... Yeah, maybe asking is okay. Sure. First, I want to listen, maybe feeling how does they feel. If they like to share, if you have yeah, a question... If you, if you, you know, question or feeling... Then we can go together. Then we can more and go. I, I am here like a sponge, <laughs> absorbing, absorbing what I can. Uh, can you present yourself? I don't know you. Uh, my name is Paul, and this is my partner Aditi. Um, I'll let her speak for herself. Um, we are here for um, about a week, right? A couple days ago. Um, our, our dear friend and one of our teachers, Gina Salah, who some of you may know, has been here many times. And she she recommended that we come here and experience this. Um, we um, come from a tradition of more um, Kriya Yoga um, from the Himalayas, from Rishikesh. Um, and so some of these concepts of bhakti yoga are, um, are um, new to the sponge and so i'm trying to absorb <laughs> that is a personalism you have to know you and others to understand each other yes and the books are the testimonial of our people of the past, they have this realization to interchange relation, friendship, mood, everything in the Veda. Go and see Veda means. Go and see Krishna say, go in the Veda. Love is natural. Jaya Rama, like you said, the lady uh, and him is natural. Let's be natural, like the, the Ganga in, in, in Rishikesh or in, in, in Gangotri. Woo. All the stop that we put is because we want to put that. We create what we want. You came from uh, the traditional Kriya Yoga. Paramahansa was a Kriya Yogi. Babaji was a Kriya Yogi. Krishna is a Kriya Yogi. And what they did? They went to the West and try to, to make them at least people, goodness people. They were, I'll make you a, a practical and historical example. example. When American was not American. No, 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 it's important this point because if you don't let me speak around, we stop and the point it doesn't go directly as it has to go. Fluid, as you said many times, Jaya Maharaj. 
when Sheila Prabhupada went with the three books in the United States, we were all in the same situation in the West. Religions here, there, Protestant, anti-Protestant, the Maoist, uh, a chaos of religion and philosophy. He said, we are... What he gave to the devotee? The chanting of the Maha Mantra to shout in different form. Prashant means, what does it mean? Mercy. He gave in the, in the form of the Vedas. He gave his example that he was a pure devotee, came here, he made his, his, his tapas 12 years in Vrindavan to understand the culture of a Krishna. And he was from a Krishna family. He was from a Vaishnava family. So what we have to do? We have to be in the residence of this beautiful Vaishnava philosophy. And better than a Vrajabhasi, who can tell why we have to go always from we, we are being. <laughs> Vrajabhasi, resident. Why don't you come here, a professor, a, a, a Vrajabhasi Brahmana, guru, and explain everything to our people of the West, as Srila Prabhupada said. And did it with example and love. Okay, so you know, so important, so, and you. you will see a greater, thank beautiful you. result thank in you. your so life. Love. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now I can go meditate. That's what the mantra said. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Remember all of you. I love you because you will love me. Yeah. <laughs> and I will love you if you love me. Thank you. So I am at your disposition. <laughs> this is the mafia in Sicily. <laughs> and in, everywhere. Mafia can be two-faced. Or you want to exploit it, or mafia you want to protect. The Godfather. <laughs> Simple, you see, I make you laugh. <laughs> Why? Because I'm natural. <laughs> and you are natural. Jai Radha Krishna. Jai Radha Krishna. So, 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 uh, my name is Aditi, and um, what to add? Um, I, I deeply appreciate this time this morning and hearing from each of you and how these how the teachings are coming through and your connection and relationship with uh, Krishna, Radha, and like Paul, I'm, I'm a sponge, and, 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 uh, all the faces, you know, all the faces of. God, yeah, my heart is very open, and, and uh, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Except gratitude. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, just a feeling. Some, not, we don't need some good love, some philosophy. No, yeah. feeling is a feeling. Yeah, just gratitude and love and appreciation and joy. And the radiance of all your faces is so beautiful. And don't I don't think I have much to say. No, no. Uh, so, uh, may I have your good name? Uh, Shukadeva. Shukadeva. Oh, you are Shukadeva. Ah, yeah. nice to meet you. And from Italy, no? You're... From Italy, yes. yes. Just uh, listen, Radha and Krishna, the beautiful leader. <laughs> and this also, Sri Ranata Das Baba, witness this beautiful leader. <laughs> and every words are Gorabani. Gorabani means very beautiful, divine love, full of divine love. <laughs> Just now, Prabhuji said that we become as a sponge always. You teach me today. As a sponge, yeah. nothing. Then, listen as it is. 
Then it helps to remember who we are. We are our children. This is now I feel rather. Thank you. Let us read. Yeah. And feel inspired if you have questions. It's always welcome. So, um, hence, for the Sama Vasana, Sama Jika, the Rasika devotees, the practice of hearing and chanting these wonderful prayers is a beautiful means of sadarani karana means identifying oneself with a transcendental role model <coughs> so what was the here mentioned rashika devotee then what is rasa at first? Rasa is like juice. Say if we have sugar cane, sugar cane stick. In India, if we squeeze, then juice is coming. This rasa is most tasteful thing, essence. Love, loving feeling also, some taste, flavor is coming. This is called the rasa. So rashika vajna means always tasting, feeling this divine love of Radha and Krishna. They, they feel, they understand, they're tasting. That that's devotee is called rashika vajna. <coughs> And then, for this Rashika Vaishnava is practicing this hearing, chanting, these wonderful prayers, like this book. Then, that means... <coughs> so, this Sadara Nikarana, this is difficult to understand. This kind of my understanding, if if somebody knows, correct me. So I mentioned love we need relationship. So who am I? At first we have to think who am I? What is relationship with myself and Radharani and Krishna? So in this relationship, if we could hear, the more taste is coming. For example, this author want to become maid servant of Radharani. So he, she, he, he want to serve Radharani as maid servant in spiritual world. This is kind of his relationship. So if we hear same mood, so we are kind of we are also be a maid servant of Radharani. Identify this mood, <coughs> then we can feel this authors, Raghunath Das Goswami's feeling, <coughs> then we can taste. Like for example, if we, if we go to see movie, then sometimes we identify in the actor hero, heroine, right? Sometimes. Then, if we identify then, sometimes I cry, sometimes, you know, why? Like, you know, that kind of, you know, many feelings coming. 
So similarly, we also, if we want to taste this book, we have to be like this kind of relationship and this role. This established like same as he, Laguna Das also. Then this, this praying, these feelings will be more manifest in the heart. So, mm. uh, our Guruji told what for relationship is mm. very important to have form. I can have uh, my relationship with my beloved because I have form and she has form. Without forms, no relationship. Mm. Always who am I, who am I and with she. And here it's written, uh, identify uh, self with transcendental means spiritual body. Means uh, I have my identity in that realm, spiritual realm. I have identity, I have form. What is what I can ha receive relationship with uh, the, how to say, the the per this person who is in the corner, in, in the center of my heart. My heart always hungering for this person, always. It's my, it's my essence. And then I found this person, I'm making the relationship. But for this, I need spiritual body. It's, because it's eternal relationship and body must be eternal. So this is a little high thing actually. <laughs> so, but uh, so, but idea is in spiritual world, Radha Krishna has a spiritual body. So, if we want to serve Radha and Krishna, Radha Mohan, then also we we must have spiritual. Body. In that kind of meditation, the more taste is coming. So Guru Dev says we have this material body and in this material body we have a soul and who am I? This is me. If we are in this material world, this, we are always uh, in this material body. This is the bondage. Always suffering. Then what do we need? We need Translate this material guna. Material law. Then, how to do? Just now, Radhanjaraji said, we need spiritual body. Otherwise, we cannot switch. We cannot move this spiritual world. Then, what is made by this spiritual body? Made by Prema, spiritual diviner. That's why we listen to this Vyapatsmajari. This Vyapatsmajari is full of divine love, Prema. Cultivate our divine feeling, not material feeling. Then we are just ready to spiritual body, to go to spiritual world. Then this is the real myself. This is just now Radhanjaraji. Thank you. Thank you very much. Inside of me, I can imagine, and you can see this, all the pictures from elevated souls who have this vision and the, these drawings, paintings full of love. And 
when I see them inside and try to find them, then I see how she is dancing, how she is moving, how she is crying, how she is sitting there and waiting for him, or how she, he is coming to her on his knees. Mm. And all these wonderful pictures from the love exchange um, to try to find it and then I'm with my mind more on this way. This for me as a beginner is very helpful this, to bring me out of this material consciousness to do little steps to them and to <laughs> to Lemonade, lem lemonade. lemonade uh -huh. that one day they will appear really in front of me. But now these wishes inside, and so these books are so beautiful. I love this the most because they give us these pictures, these wishes, and these lilas. We say lilas to us. Lila means. Lila means it's a pastime. Divine pastime. Games. Games. Yeah, the games. Drama. Drama. Spiritual drama. Play of life. I love stories. Yeah. Then to follow with my... For me, it's I love it. I love it the most. Beautiful. Oh. Thank you. <coughs> And this will help, and and this will help them to attain an astonishing relish of vipra lamba rasa means love and separation. So this may be a little explanation. If love each other, loving ways too. Meeting, stay together, and then also separation. Meeting is very pleasing. Separation is very sad. But the meeting, but the more than meeting, <coughs> separation is more intense. Because sometimes meeting, but uh, both think another six inside. Physically together, but uh, inside maybe not. Maybe, maybe, yes, maybe no. But if we love each other with separation, then inside is more thinking love. Then love is more intense. So this is Love in separation. So this love in separation, inside feeling is more intense, more feeling coming. And then, when that separ you know, separate rubber meet together, this time, pleasure is more, more, more increasing. So therefore, that kind of separation, like spice, <laughs> to meet together is so, so tasty. So therefore, sometimes we need it. So this mention, this loving separation, we say, be pralamba. Then I think an astonishing relish of be pralamba rasa. Means separation, but the separation, very sad, but same time inside, always thinking about love. So therefore, this feeling, this taste is very much increasing. Mm. This is mm. uh, It's like the special ingredients in, in the relation, because if you're always together, it, the intensity goes down, but if you're together and separate, then it's always, again, fresh and... Always new, new arrangement needs to be done, more services there. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. So yeah, you, don't take your, you don't take your husband or wife for granted, or she's always there, no matter what. 
and also they don't need so much servants if they are always together and married. And yeah, yeah, yeah. But if they have to find each other and meet together Secretly. after separation, <laughs> yeah. then they need also servants and then they, we have also a chance to take part of the game. Yes, we do. We do. Because, because, you know, sometimes we experience marriage life, sometimes love becomes you know, decrease. Yeah. Yes. You know, like when we are lovers, you know, before marriage, fresh. more intense and more fresh. But after, you know, marriage, stay together, then love is, you know, slowly, slowly decreasing. My then, God. <laughs> now you, you know, know. You know, not to your case, not to your not case. Not to your case, Kisha. I'm, I'm saying, you know, generally speaking, generally speaking. I don't know if somebody mentioned that already. In Radha and Krishna case, it's, it's not a marriage. It's not a official marriage. It's a hidden. That's yes, that is more, more special. They yeah. both have other partners. <laughs> they are hiding in the night, in the woods. Yes. And also the they are like 16, 15, 16 years old. Like 14, 14, 15. 14, 15. Ah, 14, 15. 15. Oh, so, really young, so it's really... This is very nice age. You know? <laughs> <laughs> very fresh. For, for all the responsibility. Yes, no responsibility. <laughs> Maybe some, but uh, you know. No Mahabharata. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One thing amazing in separation, it's eternal meeting. Then someone always thinking about the Lord. Then he started or she started feel inside the heart or soul of beloved. It's me internal meeting. It's what Jananda explained. It's eternal. Separation means eternal meeting. It's more intense, more closeness. When I met someone, I can speak, but it doesn't mean what, uh, it's not how to say. I will not sure I can feel it so much. Not she or he, feeling mm. on his heart and on mm. your heart. Mm. But then separation, it's become revealed from inside. What is my beloved mm. feeling? Mm. Oh, actually she means this, or he means this, he mm. wants or she wants mm. me or needs this. Mm. Oh, an idea coming, mm. what I will do when they meet. What is just we heard? The separation, nourishing, meeting. Mm. Yes, this is interesting. Mm. Okay, uh, go. Huh? You may I say one sure. thing? Sure. Uh, no, I would like, um, first, if you, I would like to ask you, General Maharaj, if you can maybe say something about, uh, because sometimes we have this misunderstanding, or I had this misunderstanding for many years that the uh, spiritual world is a kind of place somewhere that has nothing to do with this material world, the body has nothing to do. It is uh, like a kind of uh, wishes. At a certain point we wish it a liberation. Oh, we want to go to the spiritual world, we have nothing to do in this material world. But uh, uh, Guru Deva explains how to be in the spiritual world. No, not. Mm -hmm. And how to be you, may you say better? I think she is asking. Sometimes people thinking we 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 get to liberation. We have nothing to do. We are very happy. Or we have to act different way. So actually, both. Way is maybe correct, but the reality, soul is soul nature is very active. Soul nature is to to serve somebody is very happy. So therefore, in this spiritual world, like say, if we merge in the light for impersonal feature of God, maybe they, they may not do anything. But actually, it's not to taste is not good, not enough. Pleasure is not enough. Maybe eternity, some pleasure is there. 
For example, so we stay one room, meditation, maybe some happiness, don't disturb from others. But loving feeling is not coming. So, so therefore we want to meet together, we want to act together, serve each other. So similarly, in spiritual world also, we want to serve, because serve is the nature of soul. And soul want to serve super soul. That super soul is Radha and Krishna. So if we, we are part and person of God, then super soul is like whole of soul, soul you know, big soul, whole of soul. Then if we serve, then completed. Then automatically pleasure, ex, ex, extreme, extreme happiness, so much loving feeling is coming to upon us automatically. So therefore, in the spiritual world here mentioned, always serving. This also want to, when I can serve, when that day will come to serve or see or help, a kind of meditation. That can be done also here, yeah, now, uh, with, towards our, Guru Dev says, to our neighbor. No? The neighbor, the neighbor, ne no, uh, no, no, neighbor, uh, neighbor, 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 neighbor. neighbor. Uh. Yes. The, the wife, the children. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. should not only meditate and think this will happen in one day. <coughs> this consciousness has no. to start now. Yes, yeah. very good point. Yeah. Because if we meditate, then we want to act something. So day to day life. So we have neighbors, we have family, we have partner, we have a, you know co-worker or neighbors, so whoever cross with us, we want to help, we want to serve, we want to act in loving action. This is Bhakti Yoga. External service and also internal service, internal meditation. That is we are practicing. Can I? Oh, sure. Now you, you finish. Sorry, I didn't want to disturb you. No, no, no. No, I just wanted to add about the word service because we're speaking about service so much. And in in material world, service is like a sometimes it's a yeah it's negative. Yeah. You relate a little bit negatively. But if you imagine you are serving to Radharani, which is the Ladini Shakti, the, the pleasure giving potency, the personification of love. If you come near to her and, and you are in her, her uh, vicinity, service does mean uh, something else, you know, like it's, it's, not, it's not what we understand as a service. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's loving service, and, and you will feel it and you will be one with her. Um, and that's a special kind of, of service. And if you do it like like they said now, 24/7 in the here in your day-to-day -day life, you're trying to get there. Also, you have to try to, or we are trying to connect to that energy, to that loving energy. Yeah, and I think that's a, a service is a word that we maybe misunderstand if we just if we are not defining it. Yeah. Maybe you can help and define it more better. Very, very good point. So my understanding, service is say two kinds. Service to get money or to get something from the service. This is one kind of service. Another kind of service means no expectation, no nothing else. I don't want to money. I don't want to any you know material. I don't want to any you know kind of, you know, glorification, nothing. Just my desire to please you, this kind of service. So we are saying service is this kind of spontaneous, selfless, loving service. This is, we say, seba. So sometimes we do also seba, you know, we go to company, we have a company, you know, 
you know, we aim for it, okay, okay, I pay money one month, you know, such and such money. This also service, but uh, they, they are not to, how do you say, not to, just kind of duty. And at the same time, you do your duties, but internally you can do your seva. It doesn't mean that you get money for it, it cannot be seva. It's your internal focus that is, de uh, is decisive in that. You can do your job, you can do everything, but you can do it with the focus or without the focus. <coughs> yes, very good point. Like say, my understanding is like this. So we have family, we have job, we have money. House, car. We are thinking this is my, my work, my family, my wife, my husband, my money, my company, my house. But we forget this idea because this selfish. Actually, everything belongs to God. Okay, my family member, God to give give us, give me to take care. Okay, I have job, so God give me this job, how to take care, to get get some something. Okay, I have this house because God give me to serve you. Or God give me such and such money. Not to, for me, but I want this money should be serve others, including me also. So this kind of consciousness. Because nothing belongs to us. Because we are born <coughs> naked. We are dying like naked. We cannot bring money. We cannot bring, you know, family member. We cannot bring house, car. It's impossible. So this kind of, I think, feeling, everything belongs to the God for Radha and Krishna, Radha Moha. So therefore, I am doing this one. I am using because you are giving me I want to serve you through the, you know, family member's service or through my work, through the kind of different kind of, you know, work. Maybe I can add, because now it's just coming, sure. what would have said two days ago. Sure. You cannot, he said to me, or to all of us, and then it became sparkly if you follow this, I feel, that you cannot have two things, he said. You cannot have your... Meditation in the morning, which is very nice, one hour, two hour, half an hour, whatever you can do. And then you go working 22 hours, 23 hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and you separate these things from each other. And then it doesn't work. You, you, you will not get the spiritual realization. You will not find your spiritual body. If you do one, more, one, one thing, no matter how long you do it, like, and then you have a, a material life, but you have to combine it and do everything as you do it, but inside you are serving Radharani. So your family member become, you are just a caretaker for Radharani, like Maharaj said. And that's really, I think, then spiritual practice is starting. Very good point. Like, you know, say we are thinking yoga is just one hour. Asana, or you know, pranayama. Okay, one day finish. Okay, this is my time. Okay, I can enjoy. But actually, Bhakti Yoga Guru Dev saying, no, actually, not only one hour. We have practice twenty four seven. So that consciousness is important. Whatever we do, this Bhagavan Ji say also. So God giving everything. So we should do everything for. God consciousness, Krishna consciousness. That is a good day to say. Very good point. Beautiful point. And this, maybe you can say this. I, I just give a hint. No, 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 you say, you say. He said, but we have to be in the observer situation also. Like wow. In the day to day happenings, we give up our controlling tendencies, which again and again will bring us into trouble because we will try to get something in a certain way established some result in our work in our family in discussions everywhere in our spiritual practices also 
But if we get observers and we have combined the things, it's our service, and then we observe the results. A very good point. So now my understanding more more clear. I am hearing many ears. <coughs> so our consciousness is two way. I'm doer. I'm master. I'm doer. This is one consciousness. But I'm saying, no, I'm viewer, I'm seer. This is a different way. Many people, including me, we are thinking I'm doer. Means I want to control something. I want to control family member, I want to control my company, I want to control, you know, this kind of this this kind of conversation. This is doer consciousness. Viewer consciousness, no, we are servant. So let me observe. <coughs> Whatever necessary thing I should do. Doer means literally ego centered. I'm doing, I'm enjoying, I'm controlling. But the viewer consciousness is no. I am servant. Whatever necessary thing I, I should I can do. And it's not it's two ways. But in the beginning we might be like hundred percent in the controller and then we try to, <laughs> we try to transfer it. But this is maybe a long period and maybe a life, maybe many lives. Maybe if we are lucky one day it will be one life. <laughs> it will go. At one point it will be able, uh, possible in one life. We don't know if it's that life. So we again and again, if we are in the observer position, then we go back to the controller position. Then we again we have to pull us out, right? Yes. Check ourselves. Yeah, this is check. Yeah, Guru Dev always say, always says check yourself and not check others. We have also this great ability. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That always ah oh, he's doing this and this, but this is wrong. Well, she's doing like this. Oh, why? No, check ourselves. But this is also a long way. <laughs> and also, Barana mentioned, if we are doing our consciousness, checking others, <coughs> then many troubles come. Many afflictions come. Because, you know, everybody doesn't like this kind of, you know, controller. You know, we don't like controller somehow who is controller. So, but if we are, we become viewer consciousness, very humble position, no ego, then everybody like it. Oh, he has no ego. He just want to serve. Then everybody loves him. So therefore, spiritual life is consciousness. Material life is unconsciousness. Unconsciousness means like animal. Just we are eating, sleeping, you know, matting, defending. Yeah. But the spiritual life is conscious. So, you know, I'm doing for the pleasure of God or pleasure of myself. I, I'm trying to help others or I want to control. This is checking. Day to day. It can be a very tasty uh, internal game to check yourself. And it can be depressing or it can be positive. It, it depends on the mood, on the, on the eagerness, on the, on, the, on the point of view. If somebody is pressing you and forcing you to check yourself and you feel pressure, it might be become Depressed. 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 But if you are doing it out of your own will because you are recognizing the, the good in it, the, the benefits in it, it will become like a game. Like a game. And you see, after some time, maybe you are. I am now more able to say, okay, it might take the whole life. But I will go and try it again, try it again, try it again. 
before it, this is a little bit hard to understand in the beginning that it will not go in one year, it will not go in ten years maybe, I don't know how long it will take, but at that point when you accept that, it will not a fast lane, it's not a highway, it might be a possible to, to play it as a game. I think this is, it was for me the highest point because when I checked myself, nobody says you have to check, but inside I have very, yeah, my, it's a critical part of me hung me and I feel guilty and bad and I recognized, oh, there is no, no love inside of me because I make pressure to myself and then I noticed this cannot be the way of bhakti and love. And I have to do it in another way. And now I try, I try to be honest and say, oh, okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> do it better and all of this. And it's really a learning way and to be humble with, with yourself is what I have to learn, not to do like this. I think this is the mercy of Guru Dev, really. yeah. that he has so much tolerance and patience with us, more than we have with ourselves. Yeah. So I learned this only from him. Yeah. I was not so tolerant with myself like he is with me. Yeah. Showing love, we learn love from him. Yeah. Sure. Actually, yeah, also Guru Dev always repeat that sentence of Prabhupada that says, slowly, slowly, but steady. Yeah. We should not hurry. We should, because also thinking, I have to change, I have to change. It's a kind of pushing, to, not to be too lazy, but not even to push. Yeah. yeah. balance. <laughs> balance. And it's all also helpful to have other devotees who go this way and do the sharing yeah, and yeah. hugging yeah. and love yeah. comes from outside. This is what we also yeah. have. That we all together on the way. Yeah. yeah, and when we have honest exchanges from the heart and we don't pretend, oh, I'm so advanced. No, if, no, if, we, if I open my heart to Raseshwari and say, oh my God, I'm struggling with this and that, and she just takes me in the arms, just this, without saying, oh, you have to do this, you have to do this. Just that she takes me in the arms and gives me her love and compassion. This is the man. And then perhaps she opens her heart and says, oh, I have this and this. And I can hug her another time and be there for her. So this is what I experience here when I'm here. And this helps. And this is the cause why I'm coming back and back and back and I don't want to leave this place. <laughs> so I think this is the beauty of this ashram. Nobody push. Nobody give pressure. So you like, you do this. You don't like, you don't need to do this. If you want to attend Aratik, you can attend. You want to attend class, you can attend. But uh, we don't push. Because, because natural way, spontaneous way is uh, try to do here. That is uh, this beauty of this ashram. And it is not something common yeah. in ashrams. Because I have been in Naraj, I've been many, many years in other kinds of ashram. And it is always pushing, and when there is lots of pushing outside, you start to uh, acquire the same uh, mood that you push also yourself and others. So it is a kind of, uh, I don't know, something that makes you very far from to be conscious. Mm. Because, because we, and, and this is also a modality of. Uh, I am doing, I am the controller, I can do something. It is not a, it is a completely misunderstanding about uh, spiritual life. What do you think? I think so. Because I'm doing, I'm doing sadhana. I'm doing, because you know, I'm doing this sadhana, therefore I'm good to devotee. But you are not doing this, this sadhana, you are not a good to devotee, you are bad devotee. Like this. <laughs> It's more the religious side of it, yeah. that we want to say that we have checked this, checked this, checked this, checked this, now I'm fine, I'm, I'm good. It's not, this cannot give the spiritual realization. Like a, like a little bit materialistic, you know, external.
<coughs> but I think when here we can see good examples and go behind them. No, let me. Huh? What? When here we see good examples and get ideas, and it's easy to it's follow. Yeah. Yeah. Easier, yeah. not easy, but easier to follow this way yeah. as when we are at home uh, alone or you know, this. What is your experience? How do you not to push in a material way? How can you follow when when you get lazy at home or when? In other places. <laughs> so we need association. You know, same, same minded, same goal. <coughs> then we can help each other, talk each other, share each other. That's the path we need for this spiritual life. Because alone, you know, is, is weak, become weak. Easy to become, you know. The influence, like influence of material energy. energy. <laughs> you need this. You need this beautiful sangha. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is such a Absolutely. beautiful example of yes. sangha and supporting each other yeah. and growing together. And therefore, we have the Zoom meetings. If we cannot be here, and because of COVID time, nobody could could come here. Come here. And this, for me, it's helping. I have really every day. It's like written in my. <laughs> Notebook. 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 <laughs> and I, I, I try to, um, how to, to organize, thank you, to organize my whole day around the Zoom meeting that I can attend every Zoom meeting. And if I miss one, it's like really, oh, I missed the class. <laughs> yes, there are recordings, but uh, yeah, and it's this is really time, what, yeah? this Good. is like helping me. Also, the reason sometimes why I get up, because I know I have to be ready for this and this and this. <laughs> Like here, I can stand up naturally at home. No. It's really uh, because I want not to miss one class. Or see Radha Krishna. Because morning time, if we hear, the whole day we could meditate. Then our consciousness is become more steady. But if morning time, if we see TV, newspaper, then many bad influence also we have to think a whole day. Good at all this is one very nice example. If you have a one and you put many <laughs> zeros before it, it's, it doesn't become more. Or if you have only zeros, it's, it's zero, right? Mm. But if you have a one and then you put many zeros behind it, it it's getting bigger and bigger. And, and the one is the is the spiritual practice in the morning. And the, you fix your mind on on on, on the spiritual spirituality and and you give the direction for the day, you fix this, and then the zeros throughout the day will be connected to the one, it will be adding up. Wow. It will be more, wow. increasing. Wow. But if you don't put the one first, it's not. It's not. <laughs> So the, the <laughs> morning, the morning is the important. The one is the yeah. That's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Thank What's you. about the evening? I think for me it's always also important to close the day with a little ritual. Uh, I think that's not a miss. That's not uh, included in that. But, you know, but if the one is there, also in the evening it will be more easier for you to do something. And also, maybe evening or before sleeping is like a starting, you know. Yes. So therefore, it is uh, some people say before sleeping and after get up is kind of more. If I say it, this kind of meditation go to the subconsciousness. So therefore, also you know, you know night time also important like as morning time I feel it. Especially night time. You know, night time if we see ho you know like a <laughs> horror movie, <laughs> then we, we we dream, oh my god, you know, this terrible dream I got, you know. But uh, before sleep if we, we have happy mood and you know talking about Radha Mohan, then we we may have 
happily sleep and getting time, get up time also, you know, little happy mood. That's how I feel it. Me too. I think that I, I totally believe that and I, I also try that, but that's for me the most difficult part in the evening after working and, and so long day. And I really try to fix that, but that is difficult. How, how was your. Uh, Okay, my experience. I also I was working before, and uh, I from my house to office it takes one and thirty minutes or two hours. So and then after finish work, sometimes come back nine, ten. Then at that time I eat something. And little relaxing because you know because you know working little tension, so I want to be little relaxed. And then if I if I read or hear something, then before sleep, sleep if I'm good conscience. Oh la oh la da la ni. Thank you very much today. Some other I could make it by your mercy. Kind of praying if I pray like this. Very good consciousness. But we think, oh my god, today it's very bad day, you know, this person hurt me, you know, this my project will fail. That kind of meditation is not good. <laughs> yeah. You know, so therefore therefore I I try to try to do bef, you know before sleeping, okay. Today, thank you very much, Radhika. Very, thank you very much. Today, some or other, you know, I could make it. You know, my body is okay. My family member is okay. My wife is okay. So, thank you very much. Kind of, you know. So, please let me serve you to tomorrow. This kind of meditation, if we could do it, then more peaceful night is there. So, therefore, you know, sometimes, I experience sometimes, you know, not every day is a good day. Sometimes, you know, my boss very harsh to me, you do this from tomorrow, you do this, you know, kind of. Sometimes little disagreement. Then I come back very, you know, not to, not to peaceful, you know, mind. So at that time, on the train, I try to read, try to do some translation, to, like fix our mind a little more. More, rather and more. Then eating, relaxing, then hearing lecture at night time. Then try to meditate, praying to the Radha Mohan like this. Of course, I cannot do every day, but I try to do like this. A morning time, after I get up, Radha Radha, oh Radha Radha Rani, let me serve you, let me, let me remember you today. This kind of meditation, praying, and then get up and here, okay, let me, you know, do, take shower and do bhaja, go to Mongolati, like this kind of. Thank you. I think I, I, I got one point now. You have this strong desire because the energy is a little out, you know, in the, in the evening. And I think it's what you said is that you are very fixed, that you want to end it with the positive way. Yeah. And then if this fixation is there, somehow you will raise the energy. Yes, because, you know, mind is always try to deviate. And especially night time also very dangerous, actually. You know, we try to meditate material object, you know. So try to bring back to the, this kind of point. This always we need to consciousness. Yeah. Focus more on this. Maybe can I add something? Sure. Some, some people need to get something. Me, for me, as I'm a fool. I have to put things out. I took my, I take my book and I write sometimes only one sentence. What was it? The essence of the day, or where I'm thanking for, and where did I get a hint from her? And all the things, maybe I can talk about. Take this book, write, send, 
Then it's also maybe more easy to make a prayer again uh, mm. with free mind. Yeah. Actually, I cannot do like her, but I I tell my student. <laughs> you know, this is my not not a good teacher, not a good devotee. But I say, whenever you experience some realization, please write it down. Yeah. Or you know, if hear nice word, nice kind of say nice kind of feeling, then please note it down. I do, daytime I do, but nighttime sometimes, you know, I cannot do it because easy to forget point. I have my handy with me, I <laughs> And then, you know, sometimes I said to my student, but whatever I said to, and then if you feel, oh, this is very good story, this very good word, and please note it down. And then, then, you know, this is every day do, then, then, after that, you can read, then our conscience become very enlightened. So I want to do, but, <laughs> you know, sometimes I do daytime, because my memory not now not good. Like for me, my hobby, like I want to, you know, I like song playing guitar. So some melody is coming, I just, you know, record it. And then later on I play. But if I say material word, not good. So therefore I try to spiritual pastime or a kind of Hare Krishna Maha Mantra with melody. Then, you know, my hobby become literally spiritual. Much spiritual, you are so beautiful. Sanga. 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 Sanga.